I'm a person. I'm the, the person that was there for me. And now to a heartbreaking story you'll only see on Local 10 today. A wife and mother praying for her husband who was shot in what appears to be a case of road rage. The shooter taking off and leaving this father for dead. And Local 10's Rush Lowe, live at Jackson Memorial Hospital with our exclusive tonight. Heartbreaking, absolutely. I sat with this woman today and she is absolutely devastated. You have to understand this is a loving father of two, two children ages 10 and 8. He worked several jobs to support this family and last Wednesday he was returning home from work when we have this possible case of road rage. I don't know, person, I don't know the person that was there for me. I don't know the person that was there that understand me now. That I know can, he knows me. He knows me, he got my back. Lucy Mara Gomez prays every day that her husband Robert will come home. He was shot inside his car on, on, on the driver's seat. It was last Wednesday. She says her husband, a mechanic, was working on a client's car in Miami Gardens when he got into a verbal altercation while driving home with someone on a dirt bike. You know, I believe it was just exchange of words and he was shot. He was struck with a bullet in the neck that was fired through the driver's side window. It works very hard for us, you know. Works very hard for you. <laughs> for the family. He is in stable condition at the hospital, but has a long road ahead of him. <laughs> Lucy Mara says she doesn't have her best friend at home, and it hurts her to the core. How can I tell you? I don't know. You know, I just wanted him to come back home. I want, to, you know, I, want to, I want his life to be normal again. I know it's going to be a long time. Robert's entire life is his family, his 10-year-old Sara and his 8-year-old Noah. He still can speak, but can write. And the first thing he wrote? The first thing he asked, how is, how is Noah and Sara? I said, they're okay. They know. And, you know, we're going to be okay. Just a devastating story, and Robert has a long road to recovery. He is in stable condition. In the meantime, as far as this investigation goes, that mom tells me detectives have been in contact with her daily. Miami Gardens police continue their investigation. If you know who did this, please pick up the phone and give this family some closure. Call Crime Stoppers in Miami Dade. That number is 305 471 TIPS. For now, I'm live outside the Ryder Trauma Center, Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News.